da 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 Welcome back to My Little Pony Magic Series 1 It's called to past 10 now I'm going to have to go back to home I mean Mummy might discover that I'm not there and if she does that well there'll be no more me coming back to Ponyland and well I might need to come, mightn't I? Well, said Dodge, we might be able to do things without... Go away, Dodge, you horrible little pig! You sooty-nosed animal! It's you and your treble lugger slugger box, or whatever they were called. I bet you don't have sticks with a little cloth on the end. You have guinea pigs with little white noses that soon turn black. Actually, I bet you were always nice and ginger like me. Not horrible and yucky like you are now. Right then, you had better go back, Desiree. Otherwise... All right. Your mother might discover that you're gone, and then you won't be able to come and see us. Well, I'll come back tomorrow, she said, and see what I can do then. And I hope the situation with the Black Pony of Darkness hasn't got worse. Although I fear, she whispered, as she went towards the rainbow. But the black pony may already have three more ponies in his dungeon. <laughs> Desiree told Mummy that she was just going upstairs to do a story. But really, she went up the rainbow at ten to eight p.m. She was horrified to see that Dodge and Pinkie Pie and Twinkle were still standing by the gate. Why are you still here? Desiree asked. My owner never returned and neither did my owner or Lofty joined in Twinkle. Well then, said Desiree, I'm sorry to say it, but I think that the black pony has probably got them now, so we'll have to rescue them, together with Locket. Well, what are we going to do? said Dodge. The problem is... Oh. What? said Desiree. How are we going to do it? Two guinea pigs, a pony, and a girl. I've got to save four ponies. Well, we've got to save one each, then. A guinea pig saves a pony. Actually, I could save a pony. I've saved lots before. I really have. Oh, yes. I've saved Twinkle, Lucky, uh, Desirella. Truly, my owner, and Lofty, all at the same time. And that was when I was face to face with the black pony. Aren't I brave? Oh, I know what it is that I'm sad about. All the snow melted, and I didn't get time to build a proper snow, snow pig. Yes, you did, Desiree said. Your owner told me that you built snow pigs all the way to Paradise Land. But not a proper one. Not a proper snow pig. Oh, I hate the Black Pony of Darkness. I would have 
And I'll tell you what else I hate. I hate the sun. If the sun hadn't come out, the snow wouldn't have melted so fast. And if the snow hadn't melted so fast, then I'd have got a chance to build a snow pig. Which is the most important thing in the world. Because we don't even know it'll snow next year. What am I going to do? You hate the sun, Desiree said. God, you must be mad. Did you know that the sun is a sign that spring is coming? And then you'll be put out on the grass. No, I won't. Why? Because my owner's not at home. My owner is in a little dungeon. So between the black pony and the sun, my life is ruined. No, it isn't. Because the sun brings lots of guinea pig fun. From the sun comes light. From the sun comes power. It's the sun up high in the sky that makes spring flowers flower. From the sun comes warmth. From the sun comes daytime. It's the sun and it's light gleaming bright that brings the food in daytime. Winter, summer, spring and fall, the sun shines through it all. From the sun comes love and guinea pig for her. He's to the sun up above. From the sun, from the sun, from the sun, from the sun. I think the best thing that we can do is have a good night's sleep, said Desiree. I agree with you, but I can't go all the way back to Paradise Estate, said Twinkle. Don't worry, said Dodge. You can sleep in my house. What? Did I hear what I thought I heard? He's in a good mood, isn't he? Actually, yes I am. But, now, where would you like to sleep? I've got plenty of space. Would you like to come up to the bedroom? Or would you like to go in the attic? The attic is nice and warm and snuggly. And Pinkie Pie and Desiree watched as the two guinea pigs wandered away up the hill. I think I'd better go with them, said Desiree. Otherwise, they might get lost. Don't worry, said Pinkie Pie. I'll go after them and I'll give them a ride. You go back home and I'll come back tomorrow. Yes, and then we'll have to see if we can sort out this entire Black Pony of Darkness business. But you see, I can't get many of the ponies from Ponyville to help us. Because a lot of them haven't been seen on Earth yet and don't want to be seen by a human until their plastic models appear in the shops. I don't understand it myself, but... Well, then we won't get any help from the ponies in Ponyville. We'll just have to get all the help we can get from Paradise Land and Dream Valley. But I don't think the Paradise Land ponies have been very helpful. We don't even know how many ponies Truly Lancer and Lofty have got to help. Yes, but we agreed that they would all meet here, um, on Wednesday, which is the day after tomorrow. So then we'll see how many they got to help. 
Well, we got a few to help. So tomorrow, we'll try Dream Valley and see how many of those ponies will help us. Well, I hope it's not many. So the voice in the Black Mountains, but luckily, Pinkie Pie and Desiree didn't hear what he said next. Because what he said next was... But I don't hope it's not many because of myself. I'm thinking about you. Because if you come up the mountain, you'll get stuck in sticky goo. <laughs> but when Desiree and Pinkie Pie and the guinea pigs returned the following day, no ponies had gathered. They went to the gate every day after that, and still no ponies gathered, right up until the 20th of February. But even then they didn't find the ponies. Instead, they found a note pinned to the gate. It said, Dear Desiree Pinkie Pie, Truly, Rancer, Lofty, Twinkle and Dodge, we are not able to come at the moment due to certain difficulties. You will have to save Locket on your own because we won't be able to come for some time. We will give you a ring. Don't worry about us. You must go on your own for the up mountain part of journey. The mountain is far too dangerous for the babies and the colour black would just scare any pony. We will try to help of course. But sometimes the terrible darkness of night and early morning has the ability to stop our plans. And sometimes it also speaks to baby ponies and tells them, Stop that now, or we'll hurt you. Another reason that stops us from helping you is that we're rescuing my bed. Hope you save Locket. Ring you soon. Love from... And the signature was unreadable. Well, said Desiree, since we don't know who they are, why are they ringing us? Another thing, the first bit of the letter makes sense, the bit about how they not come at the moment, but what's all that rubbish about the terrible darkness of night and early morning? Well, I don't know, said Twinkle, but I would guess that it's something to do with those ponies who didn't come. Yes, said Dodge. So why are they rescuing their beds? It only says one bed, Desiree said. Well, I don't know. What can it mean? I don't think that matters. But what we've got to do is go and save Locket, like the first bit says. Perhaps it's a code, said Twinkle. No, 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 no. Any code wouldn't make any sense at all. That is at least words. Yes, but... So let's get going. Up the mountain. And the guinea pigs raced off towards the mountain, followed by Desiree and Pinkie Pie. After they got a little way up the mountain, they started to realise that the land around them was changing. They were no longer walking on grass, but on sand. And as they walked further through the sand, they saw some pools of wet sand. And they got more and more of these pools of wet sand until they could hardly walk between them. Oh, I don't like this, said Dodge. And I think that I can hear the black pony laughing. Don't be silly, said Desiree. It can't be the black pony laughing. 
He'll be in his dungeon, looking after the ponies. Oh, I'm sure I can hear it. Listen. They listened and heard nothing. Don't be silly, Dodge. All of this nonsense about the black pony of darkness laughing is in your imagination. Let's go on and have no fear. You won't find the black pony here. It's all in your imagination. Miss and Dodge, it's all right. The BP's not around tonight. It's all in your imagination. If no one hears a voice except for you, it's probably your mind playing tricks on you. So if you hear his voice while we are here, here just remember to forget your fear. Let's have a little celebration. He's only in your imagination. Sadly, though, Twinkle, Pinkie Pie, and Desiree were very wrong. Dodge had heard the Black Pony of Darkness laughing, because he was pleased with what he'd just done in his dungeon in the castle. <laughs> they continued up the mountain for the next few days. On the 27th of February, the sticky substance came back. And this time, it was much worse. Help me! cried Twinkle from behind. I don't know what I'm going to do. My paws are stuck in this sticky whatever it is. Just keep moving, Desiree said. I'm stuck. I can't move. Pinkie Pie went over to help her. And immediately she got stuck as well. Dodge also went over to help her. And he got stuck as well. That only leaves me, Desiree said. What are we going to do? Twinkle said. Well, I'm going to keep walking while we think of a plan. I'll walk round and round you. But we're sinking in it, Desiree. I'm sure we are. Oh, no. Oh, dear. And my beautiful fur, it's getting so mucky. Well, said Desiree, I can't stop and free you, or I'll get stuck as well. We need some water to wash it away. Well, there's no water around here, said Twinkle. There's got to be some somewhere, Desiree said. I'm going to go on. Just keep on moving your feet. Then perhaps you won't sink. No, I think we've found the ground underneath all this sticky rubbish now. But we can't move. Oh, what are we going to do now? That was the last Desiree heard of Twinkle as she went further up the mountain. Desiree ran faster and faster. And by quarter to nine, she was at the top of the mountain. She saw the Black Pony's castle just in front of her. She saw that the drawbridge was open. And she walked inside. 
She looked around her. All over the place were photographs of the black pony of darkness hanging on the walls. Desiree heard a clank and saw that she'd just tripped over a large key ring. On the key ring was a model of the black pony of darkness and also a gold key. It had been hidden just under a rug which was in front of a chest of drawers, one of which was locked. Desiree unlocked the drawer to see what was inside and saw a photo album. She opened it up and saw pictures of some strange things. There were pictures of pink ponies laughing and pictures of pigs. Desiree quickly locked up the drawer as she heard footsteps coming towards her. Could that be the black pony of darkness coming? She quickly hid. She squatted down into the corner next to the drawers and she saw the black pony walk past. Once he'd gone past, she shot out and ran down the corridor. She found the room where the guinea pigs had once been locked up. And then she saw the corridor leading down to the big locked door. She found the spare key under the pink rug. Why did the black pony have a pink rug? Why not a black rug? Everything else in the place was black, or most things. Even the door was black, and the key. Desiree walked up to the door and started to unlock it just as she heard a scream and the scream didn't sound like any of the four ponies she'd come to rescue in fact it sounded like Twinkle it was coming from behind the door. Desiree quickly opened the door and saw that Twinkle, Dodge and Pinkie Pie were there, completely unharmed from being stuck in the sticky goo. But something was missing. Something that she'd expected to be there. And that something was the four ponies she had come to save. Because truly Lancer, Lofty and Locket were not in the dungeon. So where can they be? She heard a voice. You'll never find the MLP. <laughs> yes, I will, Desiree said to herself. Yes, I will.
But then suddenly, she watched as Pinkie Pie, Twinkle and Dodge got out through a little hole which had suddenly appeared under the window. And then, green and pink stars shimmered around Desiree and she disappeared. The following day, Desiree thanked Dodge for reminding her that she had to come back from Ponyland. She may have forgotten, and if she'd forgotten, where would Mummy have thought she was? Dodge had been reminding her every night. By turning the key at the bottom of the rainbow, meaning that she came back down. They'd also found that if Dodge turned the key the other way and she said the exact location of where she wanted to go, especially if she pointed to the exact location on the rainbow map, she would suddenly arrive in that location. Oh, I didn't mind. I just got down the garden and turned the key, Dodge said. Yes, well, you can have some cucumber now. Oh, how nice. Cuke for the cucumber king. Oh, cucumber. Cu, cu, cuke. And I'll get a piece for Sparky at the same time. Oh, can't I have both bits? He never turned a key. Well, he shares his celery with you. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Oh, the horrible little squirrel rat pig. I think, said Desiree, that you two should at least try and be friends. But we are friends. I just don't like giving him cucumber or celery of mine. That's my cuke, my celery. But we are friends. I don't think... Don't think that you are f proper friends, Splodge. If you were really friends, think how it would be. You wouldn't mind sharing a piece of cucumber for tea. I have tried to be friends. I have, I've really tried. If you were a relief and you wouldn't mind sitting side by side. Imagine sharing food together. Or playing out in the running sunny weather. Imagine a friendship you've never known. Then you'd never feel all alone. How happy I would be if time together you would spend. The whole world would be better off if you two could be friends. How happy I would be if time together you would spend. The whole world would be better off. The whole world would be better off. If Sparkle was your friend. I'll make another attempt to be Sparkle's friend. But it's just so, so irritating. Well, said Desiree, and she picked up her rainbow map. I'm just going to touch the place on here, and you will have to turn the key for me. Splodge did as he was told at the bottom of the rainbow and Desiree drifted away, back to the Black Mountains, or rather, to the drawbridge of the Black Pony's castle. She managed to get back to the door and unlock the door, but of course, Twinkle Dodge and Pinkie Pie had left. But then, when she looked inside, she saw that they were back. 
The pony and the two guinea pigs sat in the corner. We were caught, said Twinkle. The black pony found us. Yes, he found us. We were just heading for home and he found us. Maybe, maybe we should have gone the other way. Pinkie Pie quickly explained how when they got out of the hole they'd gone to the left, taking a shortcut back to Ponyville. I told her to go to the right, the way I knew to Ponyville. But she had to go to the left. And then we walked under a cage. Just fantastic, Pinkie Pie. Well, it's not her fault, said Twinkle. We shouldn't have gone the same way, should we? After the two guinea pigs and the pony had finished their argument, they agreed to go on the dangerous mission of searching the rest of the castle, which no pony, apart from the black pony of darkness, had ever done before, because the only places searched in the black pony's castle so far were the few corridors up to this dungeon door and one of the towers where Dodge had once had to go to save his owner, Desiree, Truly, Lofty, Diesel, Twinkle and Lucky. But that was only once and nowhere else had ever been explored. For the next hour and a half the pony girl and two guinea pigs ran around in the castle, not being able to find their way round. They ran upstairs and downstairs, down long corridors, but they found no sign of the ponies. Until, that is, they saw a little room just to the left of the corridor. There was a big locked door. But Desiree knew the black pony's trick and found the little black key under the pink rug outside. Desiree quickly unlocked the door and found inside a cage. Actually, she found two cages. One was empty and one had truly inside it. Perhaps she'd be able to help them. Desiree found another key on the key ring that had been underneath the mat and quickly unlocked the cage. But truly could not tell them where Lancer Lofty and Locket were. The last thing she remembered was the black pony taking them all out of the small dungeon at the back where he normally kept the ponies and putting her in a cage then he led the other three out of the door so if only we could have found the fourth said Pinkie Pie the fourth pony to have been put in a cage she might know where the others are that's right, said Twinkle. And so the ponies searched on. But Desiree had to go back home. And the ponies and guinea pig had to wait outside the castle every night. And then Desiree would come back as soon as she could the following day. They still hadn't found any more ponies on March the 16th which was a Tuesday 
Slowly they searched around the rooms, but they thought that it was probably too late by now. They tried calling the three ponies names, but nobody answered. They'd never realised that the Black Pony's castle was this big. But it was huge, and they still could not find the ponies. Where could they be? I think our real problem, said Desiree, is that we've already searched most places. We've been searching here for days, and yet we still haven't found them. Oh, come on then, said Twinkle. Let's think then. Where on earth would somebody like your black pony hide an NLP? Where would you hide an NLP? What place would be the best? How about behind that door? Forget it, Twinkle, we built there before. Where would you hide an animal pee? Where her chance of being found was less. Hell about in that tower. No, we were searching there for an hour. How about the that room there, or the little room there where we entered? We searched all those places yesterday. I really just don't know what to say. The problem is we've searched them your days. Where would you hide an animal pee? They stopped mid-sentence and looked straight ahead of them. There was a door they hadn't noticed before. It was red and had a big brown chain all around it with a padlock hanging off of one end of the chain. But Desiree saw that somebody had been daft enough to leave the key in the padlock and so they could easily turn it. I think it's very clear The place where you tied them up here Is behind this door right here The place where you tied them up here Is behind this door right here The two ponies, the two guinea pigs and the girl slowly turned the key in the lock Well actually it was Desiree who did it and they walked inside, where they found two cages with two of the three ponies they were looking for inside. Trey and Twinkle went to one cage and Desiree and Dodge went to the other. Pinkie Pie stood back to see which of the two groups of ponies, guinea pigs and humans would need help most. As it happened, neither of them needed help and quickly broke into the cages since they opened but only from the outside. The two ponies came galloping out. And Lofty said, Have you found Lockett? Or is she still locked up somewhere? No, Lockett's the one pony we haven't found, said Desiree. Oh, I may have just imagined it, but I thought I could hear her through that wall. They looked up towards the wall. And sure enough, they thought they did hear a muffled cry through the wall. Oh, somebody please help me. 
But we saw no door further up. I think I know the black pony's tricks. Let me go up the passage and I will save her. No, you won't. I'll find her. And Lofty flew out the door and up the passage. She also knew the black pony's tricks. Look, this brick is sticking out of the wall. And I think I see a crack along the top there. Desiree pushed the brick and sure enough, a door sprung open and there was Lockett in the little tiny room on the other side. Lockett, I'm so sorry. I didn't even see you go missing in the woods back there. That's okay, Lofty. I didn't even see you go out of sight. Just suddenly, the Black Pony's tornado came along, and the next thing I knew, I was here. Well, I suggest we get out of here before the Black Pony returns. Yes, that's a good idea. I don't think we ought to stay here too long, you two. Ah, but you've already left it too late, said a familiar, nasty voice from the doorway. If I just pull this brick back out... No, said Lofty, and flew at the black pony of darkness. Desiree picked up the first thing she could see, which was a silver bucket that the black pony had given Lofty some water in. The black pony was now aiming his lightning at Lofty. Desiree ran towards him. Stop it, you evil black pony! She was just about to throw the bucket at him when she saw the fear in his eyes and he ran down the passageway as fast as he could. I'll be back, said the black pony. You can be sure of that. You haven't seen the last of me, ponies and girl from Earth. <laughs> and he went round the corner. Oh, what was that all about? said Truly. I have no idea at all, said Twinkle. But I suggest that we get out of here now. Well, it can't cause much damage, said Dodge. Remember, he promised that if we don't hear his voice, at 10 o'clock in the morning, on the 14th of May, he'll never come back. His voice we will never hear again. We have nothing to fear because we won't hear his voice. Hooray! But what if we do hear his voice? I suggest that we just enjoy ourselves while we can, said Twinkle. And the two guinea pigs hopped on to their owners' backs. And Desiree leapt on to Lofty's back. And Pinkie Pie followed them down the side of the mountain as they began to dream about what adventures they'd had and hoping that that really was the last time they'd seen the black pony. He seems so scared of a silver bucket, Desiree said. I don't know why. I don't really care, 
said Twinkle. If we never get to see him again, we'll never have to find out why he didn't like silver buckets. But there's something to it, isn't there? Oh, forget it. We are friends, and we will always help each other if the black pony ever does return. Which I don't think he will, said Lofty. I think we've seen the last of him. But that is where you're wrong, yellow pony. You will see me again, said a voice in the black mountains, which the ponies didn't hear. Ha <laughs> ha!